Wait. Whoa. Oh. Oh, hey. Let my life be the proof, the proof of your What's going on, gaming fam? It's Gaming for God coming at you with another video log. Kicking this off as usual with our verse of the week, and it comes to us this week from James chapter 2, verse 17, and the New King James Version would put it this way. Thus also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. And I want to clarify, this doesn't have anything to do with your faith. This does not mean that even if you confess with your tongue and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, that you are not saved because you haven't worked hard enough. That's not how that works. I just want to illustrate. This verse is simply a magnification of the idea that your actions speak louder than your words. We can say that we have faith. But if we aren't showing that we have faith, what do people from the outside looking in actually see? And we can say that we love everybody and that we love them like we would love ourselves, but if we aren't actually doing it, what does that say about Christianity? My challenge to you in a very concise form for this week is to mean what you say. If you claim that you are a Christian, if you say that you're a Christian, show it and mean it. Now, I want to clarify, that doesn't mean that you can't make mistakes. I promise you, of all the people, I should be crowned the king of making mistakes on a regular basis. But when I make mistakes, I use it as a learning opportunity of how not to make that same mistake again and go forward and become more and more like Christ every single day. And this applies to those of you that may not be a Christian that are watching this right now. I want to encourage you to simply mean what you say. You would be amazed at how many more people will be in your life that will encourage you, influence you in positive ways, and many, many other benefits of just meaning what you say and following through with it. And on this week's episode of Getting to Know Gaming for God, who is your favorite author? I could go with a lot of cliches as a Christian that would be asked this question and say, oh, my favorite author is James or John or David. <laughs> See what I did there? But honestly, I'm not that much of a reader. I read God's word because I know that it is going to continue to edify and fill me up and really move me forward in life and push me closer and closer to God every single day. But other than that, I don't really do a lot of reading, so it's kind of hard for me to say who my favorite author is outside of God's word. I want to just flip this around this week. We're going to change this up a little bit. You guys are always getting to know me, but why don't we flip this and get to know you guys down in the comments? Why don't you tell me who your favorite author is? And I'll make sure to read through some of those and see if one of them pops out at me. And speaking of comments, the comment question of the week is not existent because no one commented on the last video. Yeah, that was awkward. Seriously though, I need you to do me a huge favor. If you have a question that you would like to know, whether it's about streaming, my faith, about me in general, or maybe just life advice or whatever. It's very, very open. Go to the comment section, ask your question, and next video log, I will do my best to answer all questions that are there within reason. Obviously, if there's a hundred questions, I don't know that I'll get to them all unless you guys want a ridiculous, I can't even do the math on that, a ridiculously long video, but my only request is that as you ask these questions, please keep them PG. Moving on to our new section from last week that we started with Kevin Anderson. We are calling it my best friend of the week. This is not an award. Somebody mentioned that they thought it was an award and they were sad they didn't get it. <laughs> It's not an award. I want to clarify that this section is purely me just bragging about the coolest people that I have in my life. The people that I would call my best friends for very different reasons depending. And Kevin, he and I have just been friends since the fourth grade. We've had a long, very close friendship. And the next person that comes to mind as I think about these things is my buddy, Tristan Cottrell, and as you can tell, he's a bit of a dork, and that is part of why we get along so well. Give you a little insight, Tristan and I met through a mutual friend our freshman year of high school, and again, for context, I graduated in 2014, so Tristan and I have known each other for nearly 10 years now, and honestly, our friendship blossomed around Minecraft and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Zombies specifically, not just in general. We didn't really like playing the multiplayer as much, but we would play the zombies literally for hours on hours on hours. It was one of our favorite games to play together. And Tristan graduated a little bit early, and for those of you that aren't familiar, some high schools or schools in general have a trimester system. Most have a semester system still, where your year in a school year is basically split in half. But 
ours was split into thirds and we called them trimesters and he graduated one full trimester early and ended up going into the army he's in the army reserves currently as far as i'm aware he hasn't gone active he's talked about it but as far as i'm aware he is still in the reserves and i am very grateful to him for his service obviously if we can get some hearts in the comments for tristan's service that would mean the world not only to me but i'm sure to him as well he's always fond of thanking people for their support when they thank him for his service it's a really humble thing and i admire him for that one of the other things that i admire him for is that he and I were actually roommates when he got back from his training. And we moved in together into a three bedroom, two bathroom apartment. Shortly thereafter, his brothers, I believe she was a fiance at that point. No, she wasn't. They didn't get engaged until he came home, which was adorable, by the way, I was there for that. Uh, they So basically his brother's girlfriend at the time moved into the third bedroom, helped us out, paid rent, and helped us to stop eating pizza every single night. But on the flip side of that, those are some of my fondest memories with Tristan is that we used to eat and play video games constantly. That was part of my, part of the memories I would say in my life in general that I truly cherish is when I had a roommate named Tristan Cottrell and it was amazing. It was just a really cool, really cool experience. Not many people recommend me becoming roommates with your best friend, but it worked for us, and we were still friends, so I suppose that we did have our fights for sure, but we are still friends, so you can make it through that. Moving on to our next section, which has to do with me going through some of my favorite things in life. This week is my favorite ice cream flavor, and honestly, I've never had a vanilla flavoring that I didn't like, so I would say that my, my favorite flavor of ice cream would have to be vanilla without a shadow of a doubt. But if I were to say my favorite ice cream, there's two and they're tied for number one almost. I would actually say number one and number two, let's be fair. The, my favorite ice cream overall, my wife can attest to this because I'm always begging her to buy it when we go grocery shopping, is Hagen dazs Hagen, how would you say the possessive form of Hagen dazs Hagen dazs we're going with it. Hagen dazs chocolate chip cookie dough is absolutely phenomenal. I've never had better cookie dough. It's just oh, so good. And for some reason, the store that we went to for grocery shopping that week does not carry it or is out of it. My next one that almost all stores have all the time is Blue Bunny's Caramel Craze. It's basically caramel ice cream with caramel, car caramel. <laughs> It's caramel ice cream with caramel drizzle throughout it, and there's like a big pool of it at the bottom too. It's great when you get to the end of it. And there's these little chocolate bunnies, appropriate considering it's the Blue Bunny brand, with caramel inside the chocolates. It's like the greatest thing ever. It's so good. But as far as flavor goes, I again would definitely say that I've never had a vanilla flavor or any variation thereof that I didn't like. Moving on to our next section, which would be the top Twitch clip of the week. There's a couple things I want to mention before I just show the clip. Number one, this is what happens when we hit our sub goal on Twitch. I do a daily sub goal now, and as a community, I'm trying to mobilize us to continue to provide financially for my family and I. And it's not because I need all of the money in the world. It's not like I'm asking for 100,000 subs at this very moment in time. I'm just looking for a little bit more financial support, as many of you guys have been aware. So I've been trying to figure out ways to kind of help the community hit a goal together rather than just saying hey I need money because saying I need money while that is a fact is not kind of it just kind of sounds beggy especially if you have like eight different ways to come up with money it really just sounds like you're just begging for money so I didn't want that I wanted the community to feel like we were just expanding and that's exactly what I want that's why the money is there so that it, there's a large scheme to streaming but it's hard to convey all of that in a short video. Maybe you guys should make a video about that. If you'd like me to make a video about how to honestly make money as a Twitch streamer, drop a comment below, let me know. I'd be glad to make it. I think it'd be kind of a cool video to do. But the other part thing that I just mentioned, there was two things I wanted to mention about it. The other thing is, this is just me being me. I love this. This is not me putting on a show. This is not a persona that I put on stream. What you see is what you get, not just here on YouTube, but also on my Twitch streams. Take a look at this clip. Wait for it, here it comes. guys are awesome thank you guys so much for helping us hit the sub goal y'all are absolutely amazing 
If you have not had the chance yet, please feel free to drop by the Twitch channel and leave a follow so that you can be there when we are live there as well. The link for my Twitch channel is in the description. It's twitch.tv forward slash gaming for God. I am live Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the schedule is on Twitch. It's easier to look at it there rather than me go through all the details here. Love to see you guys there. Be sure to follow while you're there. And if you have Twitch Prime, please do me a quick favor for both of us, actually, and click the subscribe button on Twitch to see if your Twitch Prime sub has become available. And if it is, feel free to use it. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it supports my wife and I financially. We greatly appreciate that. Thank you for all of you that already subscribe on the Twitch channel. It means the world to both of us. My highlight of the week is that I've actually been picking up acoustic guitar again. I've had an acoustic guitar for a very long time, better part of two and a half, three years, and I really haven't progressed very far with it because I haven't had the ambition, motivation, and or time to really get into it and apply myself to it daily and I have been able to for this whole week it's been a tremendous blessing I'm working on a few things that I can learn before I bring it not only here on YouTube but to my twitch streams as well so be looking forward to that as I become more and more comfortable with it I will be adding that to our vlog series as well as to my twitch streams throughout the week not sure how that's all going to work yet but we will definitely see how that goes in the future look forward to that this week's prayer request is similar to that of last week's and several weeks before that as well, simply for financial provision. This week I'm actually making an initiative to go to a few local churches to sit down and talk with them about essentially supporting me as an online missionary, not just through here on YouTube, but as well as on Twitch. And I would just ask that you guys would be praying that the Lord would open the doors that he wants open and close the doors that he wants closed. I trust the Lord to provide for me regardless if any of or all of the churches decide to support financially for my wife and I. It's just something that I would love for you guys to be praying for throughout this week. It would mean the world. If you enjoyed watching this week's blog, make sure you do yourself a couple of favors. Number one, smack the like button if you enjoyed it. And the other thing I want you to do is hit the subscribe button and ring the bell right next to the subscribe button so that you can get notified for when my videos go live for you. You can also head to the video description below, click the compiled link there, and you'll be able to access the social medias I'm involved with currently, which are Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, as well as the Discord link that is right below the compiled link. I would invite you to join our Discord, the game and family. We would love to spend the time to get to know you, both when I am on stream, off stream, making a video, not making a video, or if I just have some time in between, I would love to get to know you guys through the Discord. Until next time, this is Gaming for God. I'm signing off.